a lot of products here. Which one of these do you believe is the most important and why? I think a lot of the products today were super important, but if I had to pick a couple, I would say that the new Echo Dot, which I have one right here, was a, a great product for us. It's been the best selling speaker ever, and now we've improved it across a lot of different dimensions, and we think customers are going to love the new form factor and better sound. And then also the new Echo Show. It's got a bigger screen, a brighter display, and it, it continues on our path to have Alexa show you things, and I'd, I'd be remiss without talking about Alexa Auto. It's it's uh, uh, Echo Auto. It's a new product for us that brings Alexa into your car. We have to talk about the microwave, perhaps the most unexpected product you unveiled today. H how does it work and why do you think this is a good opportunity for Amazon? The Amazon Basics Microwave was about building a reference design to show that you can connect just about anything uh, to the internet and make it smarter. You know, I, I mentioned earlier today that you know the interface on your microwave has kind of been stuck in the late 70s for a long time, and we think with Alexa we can make it more convenient and super easy to cook. And in addition to that, uh, you know, we've added Dash replenishment service. So if you run low on popcorn, uh, the microwave will automatically reorder you some more. It's super fun. Now, there are so many products. Are you concerned at all that customers will get confused or overwhelmed? I don't think so. You know, one of the things we've always strived for at Amazon is giving customers a lot of choice. You know, and when we offer more selection, customers are really good about identifying what they want to buy, what they want to use. And then we add on top of that the reviewer system at Amazon, lets customers add reviews to products and tell people what they, they like about them. And that allows people to help them choose. So we think the breadth of products is really a benefit for customers. Now, you unveiled a new speaker accessory to make sound richer, Sonos down on that. You know, what do you think the potential is in the high-end speaker market where you do have entrenched competitors? Well, yeah, I, well, first of all, I'd consider Sonos a great partner. Uh, we're, uh, I'm a big customer of Sonos products. I love them. And, you know, Sonos customers are passionate about really, really great sound around their house and the convenience that they offer. And now Sonos has a line of products, including Beam, that integrate Alexa into them. And we want customers to have Alexa everywhere. Our products are uh, more breadth in terms of mainstream products, but we know that the level of sound that customers are expecting is going to continue to improve over time. We need to improve on behalf of customers and certainly Sonos does as well and I, and I know they will. You also played up your partnership with Spotify when you have your own music service, Amazon Music. I mean, you know, do you, do you have concerns about cannibalizing your own product line? We really don't think about it that way. You know, what we think about is we want to give choice to customers. And the nice thing about Alexa is that the service is open to developers of all types. So uh, Spotify has been a great partner of ours, and there's millions of Spotify's customers on Echo and Alexa, and it's still growing. And we think that that's great if customers want to go that way. We're also super proud of Amazon Music, but there's not going to be just one winner in music. It's not the, the headline that there's going to be one music service to win it all is not likely. There's going to be multiple winners, and I'm sure Spotify and Amazon Music are going to be on that list. And what about when it comes to the smart speaker business in general? Obviously, Amazon had first mover advantage there, but Google Home um, is rapidly encroaching on your territory. Do you think this is a space where there are multiple different competitors, or um, will there be one competitor, Amazon or Google or someone else, that takes the greatest share? We really don't think about it in that, uh, in that aspect. We don't focus a lot at Amazon on competition, but instead take a step back and say, what do customers want? And if we focus on all the inputs, like making great products, great services, a great developer platform, then customers will come. And the fact uh, that we sell X or Y or have X market segment share or Y market segment share, that's an output of what we're working hard on inputs. So far, we're super excited about what customers have been able to do. There's no question that we think Alexa and Echo uh, is the leading uh, assistant in the home today. But we're going to have to continue to work hard on behalf of customers as we move forward. 
The event today was sort of Apple-like, and it seems this is becoming an annual affair. What can we see from or expect to see from Amazon's device strategy and how it fits into the broader company going forward? Well, our strategy has been the same for 12 years now, uh, where we were kind of founded internally. And we started with our first product, which was Kindle. And our job is to build devices that aren't just gadgets that kind of sit in people's drawers, but build devices that customers want to use in integration with services that are out in the cloud. Echo and Alexa is an example of that. Kindle and the Kindle Bookstore is an example of that. And we're going to continue to look for new opportunities of different types of devices and services that will delight customers. I'm not going to announce anything on the roadmap besides the 70 products that, and services we announced today, but we're continuing to work hard and we're excited about what we can deliver to customers.